AI was introduced into the department to improve patient care. AI will help make faster diagnosis and more accurate diagnosis. Effectively, AI behaves as a second pair of eyes. Here at the Trust, we're proud to be part of the Yorkshire Imaging Collaborative, a collection of six NHS radiology departments that work together across West Yorkshire and Harrogate. Last month saw the launch of a transformational collaboration with radiology solutions provider Annalise AI to introduce AI imaging and decision support tools that could help diagnose patients with life-threatening diseases more quickly. Today we hear from Dr Mark Conn, clinical lead for radiology, and Anna Jowett, advanced radiographic practitioner, about the difference the Annalise AI chest x-ray software is making for patients and radiology colleagues at our trust. The radiology department takes um, diagnostic imaging in different modalities, CT, MR, X-ray, ultrasound. AI was introduced into the department because it's a government-led initiative to try and improve patient care. So the Yorkshire Imaging Collaborative, which includes us and Leeds and Airedale Hospitals, Calderdale Hospitals, bid for some money to introduce chest X-ray AI so we were one of the first groups to take on uh, Analyse's AI chest X-ray, first as a trial and then now as an established platform for reporting X-rays. One of the primary functions of AI is to detect lung cancer. The chest X-rays are read by the AI within minutes of the chest X-rays being taken. The main benefit is that the AI can prioritise cases. So these cases where there are urgent findings can be prioritised to the top of the list. This means patients can see a chest physician earlier, can get their CT scans earlier and can be discussed at lung cancer meetings earlier. The overall result is a quicker time to surgery or treatment. Effectively, AI behaves as a second pair of eyes. Although it is rare to miss things on a chest x-ray, the AI can highlight things that it has seen and prompt the reporter to look again as a second look to make sure that we're not missing things. So when we're looking at the x-ray, we tend to look at it and report it first, and then we look at the AI tool and make sure that everything that we've reported is the same as the AI tool. All our practitioners have to have a high accuracy level anyway, so wherever a human can um, suffer from fatigue or interruptions, the AI tool is a constant. Um, so pairing a human and the AI together can provide um, better accuracy. AI at the moment is available as soon as the x-ray is taken. So clinicians can see that image alongside the chest x-ray when they're in the clinical setting. It can be a real-time decision-making tool, um, so it's available for the clinicians when they're working in busy areas. So not only is it useful for day-to-day -day reporting, but overnight in the on-call situation, acute radiographers who have just taken a chest x-ray or the junior doctors on the ward can get AI to help them diagnose important things and they can act on those chest x-rays in the middle of the night without having to wait for a formal report. I started in radiology in the year 2000, so I've now been working here for 25 years. When I started, x-rays were all on film. You used to have to go to a, a chemical processor and develop your image and then take it back. And then the reporting would be done in piles of x-ray packets. And over the years, we've gone from film to digital radiography. And even with AI now, we've got a diagnostic tool which is produced as soon as those x-rays are performed. So there's massive advances in technology. I think in the future, AI is going to be more and more integrated into imaging. We're already using AI for detection of fractures on plain films. We're using AI in chest x-rays and also in brain CT imaging. We've just heard today there's a trial going out to test AI in mammography for breast screening. AI will help make faster diagnosis and more accurate diagnosis. I'm sure in the long term, this will help improve survival rates.